Jackie Gant's life seemed incomplete until she found a child to share it with. She became a foster mom to little Damien. Life started out as uh, any other uh, life would be with a newborn, admiring him, holding him. But by three to four months, a neurologist would confirm little Damien would have developmental delays. It would take Jackie two years to adopt him as her own. Let's continue to love him, nurture him, put him in good schools, just did what I could as a mom uh, to ensure that my child would have a good quality of life. Then Jackie learned Damien suffers from an epileptic condition known as lennox gastaut syndrome. He would suffer from four different types of seizures. Dr. Nina Maraputi of Children's Hospital of Michigan, Detroit, would treat little Damien. Typically not able to be controlled with medications. And uh, even from a surgical standpoint, it can be very difficult to offer a treatments because there's so many types of seizures. The worst, known as drop seizures, Damien could fall without warning. They could be standing there with you. Uh, I, I hold him and assist him, but he could just fall out. He uh, loses control and just drops or falls and loses a complete control of his body. By age eight, he went into the hospital for a seizure that did not stop for days. And I didn't know if he would survive. It was it was truly terrible. Dr. Maraputi approached Jackie about Damien having the first pediatric corpus callosotomy surgery in Metro Detroit. They told me he was a perfect candidate where they didn't have to go in and open up his skull. It's a type of brain surgery using laser ablation, less invasive and done with a brain robot. Now looking at robot assisted and laser ablation with the uh, use of a robot. So now we don't even need to make any more than a couple of millimeter incision in order to complete the uh, entire procedure. Before using robots, surgeons would remove a part of the bone from the skull to expose the brain. Recovery would be long with weeks in the hospital. But with this robotic surgery, Damien returned home the same day. My son can crawl. My son now wants to learn to walk. He's standing up on his own. He's only had about 12 seizures since the surgery. And for Jackie, who loves Damien more than life itself, the turnaround simply remarkable. He isn't a normal child, as we would see playing on the playground but he is normal to me and he is better than normal because now he has his life back.